Oops, Stones and Bones folks, it's Hillary, um, live in the studio, and I have been making some face masks with ties now. Um, I like them, I think they're a better fit. Um, so I figured I would go live and show you what I'm up to, how I'm doing it. What's everyone doing tonight? Well, this is the mask, we've got the ties. Fits pretty good. Has a better fit. Can be a little tighter over the chin. Um, so again, I'm just starting with two pieces of 9x6 fabric. And um, for these, I used leftover strips I had from old projects. They're kind of pretty, actually. Like, that's all my leftover stuff. I made some bias tape. Um, with them just putting them together quick So here I am I got two pieces um, Nine inches by six inches. I sewed them together flipped them pressed them and did the pleats and if You didn't catch my first video making the masks. I'm doing these the same way um, just adding the tie um on the outside so if you want to see a little more detail on how I get this part done go to my first video where I made the mask with the elastic um, but this I'm doing bias tape ties so I made my own um, bias tape out of some old leftover strips I had from projects so lucky these folks in my life are getting some cool batik ties kind of fun I suppose um, and I would like to say they're probably, you need about 40 inches if you're going to do them with ties, okay? Um, so I'm not being like totally accurate or precise, okay? So I'm just going to find the middle here and you're going to open up your bias tape here and we are going to put the middle In the back here like this okay so that's open and you see that's gonna be my front so open here you're gonna use the the fold line as a stitch mark I like to put my bias tape a little bit over this will straighten out as I sew and it'll help it um, stay down how's everyone doing tonight what are you guys working on um, so this is going to be a fabric mask with ties so you take the bias tape you open it up you're going to put it on the inside i'm going to pin here and here you can see my pins from my pleats i'll take them out as i go um, and I, like i said i'm not being crazy precise here just gonna get this together so i can show you how i do this it's actually pretty quick um Hey Elisa, hey Melissa, what are you guys doing tonight? I'm making some face masks. I've been getting a lot of requests for them um, and I'm not selling these. Um, I'm making them for friends and family right now who are immune compromised and then further out, um, we'll see. Um, what I'm gonna continue to do. I'd like to I'd like to donate. There's a wonderful group online if you guys haven't um, checked it out yet. It's uh, DIY Masks of Western Mass and they have really wonderful resources and a way to sign up um, so you can donate. Okay, so here we get, go again. I open my bias tape all the way up. So I'm doing a four. It's a four fold or double fold. I forget how they say that. Anyway, you fold it four times. I'm doing half inch tape. So they're two inch strips. You fold them in, fold them again. Um, and to do this, I'm getting really good practice for my uh, quilt binding right now. This is, you know, kind of how you do it. Um, so again, I opened it up. I'm going to pin here and here. And you can see the faint line from my iron mark. I'm going to stitch right before that. Okay, so let me get this together. And I'm trying to get it just as accurate as possible. I'm trying to get these done fairly quick so I can get on to making some that I can donate um, to healthcare workers. I know that we've got some cases locally, very, very local, just town over, 
Kind of scary, right? What's up? I know Lisa's at work. What are you doing, Melissa? Okay, Mackenzie. Gee whiz. What am I? I'm looking at the first names here. Okay, so I've got just a straight stitch. I'm going to put my presser foot down here and take your pins out. Don't pull over them. All right, so where are all my buttons? Am I all set? Okay. Uh, Makes funny noises when I first stop and a back stitch. Okay. And we're off. And the pleats get held down pretty well by the presser foot um, and just the pins in general. So using your fingers just fine. They tend to stay down really well. Okay. A couple more stitches on this one. And I'll show you what it looks like. I know bias tape is like totally overwhelming for people who have never used it before. Um, I see a couple more people popping on. Hi, Hallie, I'm making some face masks um, with bias ties. Okay, so there you have it. I opened it up and I sewed it with the open, the, the width part going towards the inside of the mask because when you fold it back up, all nicey nicey like I had pressed it. You're gonna flip it over. You see that it had sewed my pleats nicely. And then after folding it to match up your bias, and I'm doing this like in a mirror. It's kind of weird, sorry guys. Um, you're gonna match it up and pin it. There you go. And it's gonna look like that when it's done, when you uh, sew down the ties. So while I'm holding this, I'm gonna pin it with you guys. What are you up to tonight, Hallie? No one's, no one's talking to me. What are you doing? How's it going in Seattle with all this stuff? Do you need a face mask, girl, for work? I don't know if they're still allowing you to do what you guys were doing, like takeout only, right, at Luna? I don't know how that works. Hallie works at a really cool restaurant in Seattle, Washington. Okay, so simply, sort of simply, see I have my bias tape, and to make the end pretty, I kind of just fold it in. You guys are like, it's hard to see what I'm doing here. So I'm just folding it down and then folding it together so it has a nice hard to see. See if I can get it to focus. It has a nice little ending. Just got yourself more fabric and bias tape. Woo! This is the cool way to do it. Now you know. Hi, Auntie. I'm making some face masks for you. My aunt very much needs them. We do not want her getting sick. She has beat cancer enough times, so this shouldn't take her down. It's okay. Life's strange everywhere. Yeah, life is strange everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna start. Okay, so I, I folded the little tip and I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna go all the way down over the face of my mask to the other end of the tie. Hi, Angela, how are things going in New Hampshire? I don't know what it's like there. I hear Keene got its first case. So, how's everybody doing with that? Everyone's sleeping okay? I know I'm not. Okay, I just, uh, there we go. Back stitched, and now I'm lifting my needle, uh, my presser foot, and turning. So my uh, bias tape now is, you know, facing me. It's going to run through the machine. Um, and I'll show, obviously, I hope you can see it, so I'm going to sort of go in here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. And I didn't pin. Um, I don't really think it's necessary, especially if you want to get some of these done fairly quick. Um, I don't need to be crazy precise about this. I just hang on and step on the gas. You're in Connecticut working. You're in Connecticut? What are you doing in Connecticut for work? That's new. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going on Sunday. I, I lost a client this week, not to the virus, but um, you know, she was on hospice for a while. And, um, so I sadly, that's the only thing I really don't like about doing home care is that um, I have to say goodbye to a lot of my friends. Like I, I meet these people and I take care of them and we get a relationship and then, you know, then they leave. I, I know it's part of the job, but you know, it's still, still sucks. It doesn't get any easier. So, not sure where I'm going this Sunday. I will have somebody new. Okay, so you guys can probably see now that I have my bias tape in and I've got it pinned. It's sewed through the back. It's pinned, folded over on the front of my mask. Um, and I'm just cruising to close this bias tape up and just going to get closer to the mask and take this pin out when my needle hits the top here. I'm going to make sure, so you can see this, if you lift it up here, you can see the stitches um, where you sewed the bias tape on open from the back and that's what you want to hide, obviously. Um, and when you're doing quilts and such like that, um, this is good practice. So, Elisa, if you're working on your bias tape, you can make a quilt in no time. <laughs> yeah, look at me with my funny hair, huh? I haven't done this since I was like 13, and my cousin Brookie brought me to the... Uh, where did we go? We were... I was living at Hampton Beach, and we went down to... Oh, it burnt down. The happy... Happy something arcade. And we I remember I have pictures from that, but yeah, it was the last time I wore my hair like, you know, cool, poofy, furfy. But this is, you know, official mom outfit is uh, essentially scrubs. <laughs> okay, so I went over the part of the mask and I'm continuing down my bias tape with chatter from the peanut gallery. Yes, that's me. Love it. Yeah, I don't know. I I like my hair short, so I don't know what to freaking do with it. It's such a big, fluffy mess. Okay, and I'm going to fold the ends in once I get a little bit closer here. Whoop! What happened? What happened? When I sew, the machine starts flopping all over the place. That's what happens. Okay. So I'm like getting towards the end of my bias tape. I'm going to open it again and I'm just going to fold it over and, you know, fold it over like a quarter inch, half inch and fold it back up just to get those ends, you know, keep them in there, keep them from fraying, make it look a little more professional. Um, I think after this batch, I'm working through um, my scrap bin right now, which is really exciting. Like I said, whoever is getting these from um, my family and my immune compromised friends, they are getting some really cool batik fabric ties, which is neat. And you know, you have like your scrap bin and you're holding on to these pieces of fabric forever because you think you're going to have some fantastic project for them. Well, I actually do, so I guess got lucky with that one. All right, here we go. So I'll show you what this side looks like. I went over, I back stitched, see? It's hard to get it in focus. Um, and then I'll just like cut the tail. But that is a very simple way to go over your mask instead of using elastics. Okay, that's just bias tape. So um, you're still doing the <clears throat> nine by six, doing half inch pleats, and then <clears throat> sewing your bias tape on the back. And I'll do I'll do this side again so I can show you. This side is open. I have it pinned, and you can see my line. There's my first line, and that's where I'm gonna use it as a guideline to sew my mask to. So you didn't tell me what you're doing in Connecticut, Angela. That's crazy. Everybody, everybody's grown up and moved, moved along. Okay, so here we go. And I am terrible at cutting my little ends off. So there's like 
tiny little pieces of don't look at the floor here that's that's a serious thing I'm telling you everything I do I just toss it on the floor that's okay I will eventually clean I do I do clean every so often it's usually after I'm done a big project or like you know about of a certain project like if I'm doing you know 10 tarot cases or something I usually you know wait to the end to pick up and make it all pretty in here so lucky for you you guys can't see the mess all right so I'm just going across the inside of this bias tape securing it to the mask and then we're going to fold it over the front okay back stitch and I'll show you what I did okay that's that's the bias tape it's opened with the big um, <clears throat> fabric most of the fabric facing down and I just sewed it to there okay so now for the front, you just want to fold your bias tape back up. Love the ties. They are much more comfortable. I personally don't really like the elastic ones. I did make what I had with the elastic, that, um, and that was my last video. Um, again, so if you guys want to see what I'm doing, I'm just folding my bias tape back up so it looks pretty. And it looks just like... It did when I first made it. And if you guys have never made bias tape before, there's a millions, millions, millions of, oh, I, that's a bent one. Does anybody have like a jar of dead pins? That's the needle jar. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Clover sells bias tape makers. Um, it just makes it a little easier. But I've seen people even use like, a paper clip or their cell phone case. I saw somebody do that, that was pretty cool. I'm like, oh wow, that's a hack. Why did I buy all these, what did I buy these gadgets for anyway? Okay. And getting this side secure. I will show you guys in a second. Let me just put the pin in. And like I said, I'm not being totally precise because I want to get through a bunch of these and they do take a bit of time okay and there's your bias tape I'm gonna start at the end which is fraying but it's okay I'll take care of it um, yeah so far I've made I don't know made a bunch for friends auntie which one do you want so my aunt gets first dibs and she does not need to get sick. She is immune compromised. Um, and I've got a bunch of beautiful ones. I thought you probably would like, you know, some kind of cheetah print thing. So, maybe. Uh, but I got a few that are going to people who need that. Oh my god, Dano's watching. What's up, Dano? Sewing face masks. How you doing out there with all this? Okay. And I was going to start. And I got distracted by new old faces. <clears throat> okay, so once again, I'm just gonna fold over my end and fold it back in. It's really hard to do this like backwards so you guys can see. See? There's a little, okay. And that's to make the tie. If you guys have twill tape, um, that's way easier. I made one with a twill tape and I was like, boy, I wish I had that. Cause you don't, you know, it's not going to run. You don't have to fold all of this crazy stuff and lots of pinning involved with that too. Okay. So there's my end. And now I'm going to go down this second side here, securing the bias tape to the mask. And then, what the hell, I'll model it for you guys. Um, ooh, I just closed that on my finger. Whew. You know, I did sew right through my finger once. Yowza, yowza. You don't ever want to do that. That was with that, I don't think this machine could do it. It was with my Singer Red Eye. It's <laughs> a bit more industrial, that's for certain. Went right through. All right, let's not ever do that again. Here we go. Stitch forward, 
back stitch a couple. Continue forward. And now I'm on the straight away. So I'm just turning my bias tape towards me and I'm just using my fingers um, to guide it gently. I'm not pulling, you know, you don't ever want to pull on your fabric going through your machine. That's how you get boo-boos. All right, cruising along. That's right, I'm positive, I'm drink and drive which I do not condone under any other circumstance, but this one. Sewing and wine, just they just seem to go hand in hand. I'm not sure what else to do while I'm at home. I've been really enjoying some uh, groups online. I've been doing a little karaoke in one of those groups if you want to join and giggle with me. And there's a lot, of, a lot of good music happening, which I appreciate. Um, and I'm mainly a stay-at-home mom, so it's been really hard for me to get out and, you know, go enjoy music like I usually do. Someone's laughing at that. Yeah, but now it's it's really good that uh, all my friends who are in bands, I'm, I'm really sad for because they're all out of work, but happy in a way because they're all live online and I get to, like, enjoy finally. I'm being stuck at home. Someday we're all going to be there again. They just canceled one of the biggest music festivals in this area, and that's happening in May. They're being responsible about it. So here I am coming along to the part of the mass where the bias tape is folded over, and I'm gonna just sew right along the side to secure it. All right, bye-bye pin. And I've got it folded over nicely. You can't see any of my stitches from the back and getting to this side like I said I'm not pinning I don't think it's necessary if you do a good enough job ironing especially with bias tape or if you buy it you know pre-made I don't think it's necessary to to pin you don't need it to be that accurate I mean if that's your thing that's fine okay here we go on the home stretch guys and then I'll put one on and show you what it's like. It's a lot better than the ones with the elastic in my opinion. Um, I think what will work will work when you are in healthcare and you need a mask right away. Um, but I would certainly grab one of these over the others. Okay again I'm at the end. I'm just going to open up my bias tape and fold a little piece over. Look at that. I'm getting pretty good at this mirror thing. What do you think about that, Elisa? I can like barely make a braid in my hair and here I am like able to do this. So Dano, what have you been up to? I want to hear from you. I know you're still at the Elysian, which is amazing. He works at a brewing company in Seattle. And I like to drink brew, so we have something in common. <laughs> All right, going down the end here. Going towards the end of my bias tape, and it just gotta go a little slow, because sometimes it does, um, Sneak away from you. Okay, turning to sew down the small width here. Now I'm gonna back stitch and we're done. Oh, I lost bobbin roulette. <laughs> so we're not done because I lost bobbin roulette and that's still open. Um, but I do have one finished. I'm happy to show and model so had I not killed the bobbin <clears throat> so you want your pleats facing up working on foreclosed properties interesting interesting okay so there you have it it is much more comfortable because it's a little more adjustable and I like to get a really snug fit and I find the ones with the elastics don't have a snug around the eyes you probably can't really tell what I'm saying um, you should be wearing goggles if you aren't 
in healthcare anyway. You should be protecting your eyes as that is a place where things can go into, but there you have it. Okay, it's a little more snug here, fits nicely here, and I can adjust it if I want to wear it like a surgical mask, I can tie it that way. But I'm just putting it on easily right now over my hair. But it's much more comfortable and it feels secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off if I go to bend down and work um, with one of my patients, one of my clients, it won't fall off. So there you have it. Um, I'll say again really quickly, it's nine by six, two ply, um, sew it together, turn it out right, and do your half inch pleats. And then you're going to put your bias tape along the sides. And certainly if you need any, um, any help doing something like this, or if you want to donate masks and you, you know, need help with any of that, let me know. I can add you to some really cool groups online. Boy, I'm starting to sweat with that mask on. Um, and they're doing a lot of really wonderful things right now um, to help the community in the shortage with the PPE. So that's what we can do. And um, for those of you who have family you're worried about, um, these are great to make and they're really easy. Uh, like I said, get, I like to make bias tape because I suppose I like torture or something like that, you know? Um, but you can buy it and it makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna finish up the one that I lost roulette on and I'll check in with you guys later this week, see how y'all doing. How long for your bias tape? Right. Um, got a thing here, 40 inches. I would say this one's, yeah, this one's 40 inches. You could probably get away with like 35, but honestly, I think it's best to have a little more to work with. You don't know how big somebody's melon is that's using it. I suppose if you have a very small head, you have a little extra ties, but that's okay. Um, depending on what you're doing for healthcare, you're hopefully covering up your hair and things too, um, especially if you're working with people that have this virus. Um, so yeah, I want to see your masks if you make them, share them with me, and I hope you're all staying safe, and here's a great way to protect yourself, all right, and my aunt's watching, so I'll send you a picture, and you can have a pic of the first couple I made, all right, love you guys, stay safe.